What's up, guys? We're here at the Trump rally in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. We're here with, uh, what's your name? Nathan. Nathan, nice to meet you. Um, so I overheard you talking earlier, and you said you were uh, a lifelong Democrat, you voted for Obama twice. So this uh, this makes me curious, because I grew up with a lot of these people who were diehard Obama fans, and now they're some of the biggest Trump people. You seem like you're an avid Trump supporter yourself. So what converted you to go from Obama to now the biggest Trump fan? Oh, like I said, back back when I was, you know, on the left, you know, it was about it. It was about, you know, listening to other people's ideas. But, um, like I said, you know, when, and I, I always kind of voted for my politicians, kind of judging by the results. And, and, like I said, when Trump came into office and said, we're going to drill, we've got more oil you know, in Alaska than there is in Saudi Arabia. I realized that both the Democrats and the Republicans have been lying to me my whole life. And it, it's what, why wouldn't we dig up our own oil as opposed to giving it to the Saudis and the UAE and all these people that don't like us, don't have our interest in mind, using our, our own money to undermine our, you know, our national security all over the world. It, it was just a, it was like a light bulb went out. And so uh, you didn't vote in 2016, right? What's that? Did you vote in 2016? Yeah. Who did you vote for? Uh, I voted for Trump. You voted for Trump and then again in 2020? Yeah, yeah. Because like I said, I've been, in, in, when Trump was elected, I was kind of glad that Hillary lost. The, the, the Second Amendment has always been important to me. And I remember the, the terrible days of the Clinton you know, assault weapons ban, and I, I was not going to vote to go back to that. Uh, yeah, I totally agree. But, you know, that, that's what made me vote for Trump and I guess my last question to you is, what are your top three issues that are motivating you to vote this time around? We need to close the border. Uh, I, I went down to Texas a month ago, went to the border, seen the chaos, seen where the fentanyl is coming in. And you know, anybody that wants to say, "Oh well, you know, we're shutting out women and children," you haven't been there. You haven't you haven't seen the evil that is going on, you know, with your own eyes. Um, anybody that wants to say anything different, just go to Laredo, Texas. That's that that's number one. Number two, we need we need to drill. We need to get American energy. We need to you know we need to keep these trillions of dollars. In our pockets, building you know, building our jobs, and again, you know, just, we need to renegotiate all these terrible trade deals that have just been undermining the American worker for decades. If you're going to be honest about it. And the third, was it three? I think it's two. That was two. Just leave it at that. We'll just leave it. All right, nice talking. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? We just got back from the Trump rally. We're back at the hotel. We're at the bar. It was a great rally. Uh, we didn't get as much footage as we wanted to because it was just really chaotic and we were so memorized by the speech. So me, Psycho Dad, and the rest of the group are here back at the hotel. Psycho Dad went up. He passed out because he was already drinking earlier. But we're going to have a few drinks. It was an awesome speech. He talked about what he's going to do to fix immigration, fix the economy, fix foreign policy, fix Biden's mess. And he had jokes and all of his funny stuff throughout. Met some great people, made some new friends, have some great interviews that are going to be coming up separately. And then also tomorrow we're going to the Gerald Ford Museum, which is right down the street. So hope you guys enjoyed the Trump rally video. Trump rally, Grand Rapids, Michigan. First rally after the assassination attempt. Great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys later. Trump 2024. What's up, guys? Sorry good that here. And, uh, you're probably wondering why I'm not downstairs having dinner with my son. But uh, I got a little, a little too hammered, so I had to come upstairs to the hotel room and puke my guts out a little bit. And... I'm just hanging out up here, but uh, yeah, the rally today was awesome. You know, it it's just so much unity, and it's needed now more than ever. You know, so the rally was awesome. We're gonna go to the museum tomorrow, and hopefully, I'm not hungover. But who knows? I'm sure my son will be up, finished with his dinner, 
So, yeah. Psycho Dad out.